So NPTEL Local Chapters is an initiative we started in 2015 when the certification was also started from our site. We wanted a way in which we could partner with colleges because our primary audience for NPTEL is students in uh, colleges and faculty in colleges. Hence, we wanted a proper way in which we could partner with them so that firstly, we could do information sharing that say NPTEL has so many courses, these are for certification and to publicize these courses amongst the colleges, we had to build a network. So, in 2015, we came up with this concept of establishing local chapters in colleges whereby they can partner with NPTEL. So, how does a college partner with NPTEL as a local chapter, right? So, a local chapter is established in a college and hence all the people under that college come under the local chapter. So, it is uh, students, it is faculty, it is non-teaching staff, everybody comes under that particular local chapter. So, there is no requirement for and separate and individual registration by every member of the college again with NPTEL. But as an umbrella, the local chapter encompasses all the people under that particular college. That is a part one. Secondly, is there any money to be paid to NPTEL to become a local chapter? Absolutely no. Please be aware of this. NPTEL does not collect any money for establishing local chapters in colleges. This is completely free. What we require from the local chapter or the college is a letter on the letterhead of the uh, head of the institution where the head says that we want to establish a local chapter in our college. They give the details of the person who will be our single point of contact or a spark as we call. So, we need the name, the department, the email ID, the mobile number of the person who will be acting as a spark. So, on that letterhead letter, we require these details also to be shared with us, signed by the head of the institution. So, once the head of the institution says we wish to partner with NPTEL, everybody under that local chapter in college actually comes as part of this partnership. So, there is no separate registration for anybody else from that particular institution. Is there any other facility required to be having a local chapter? Do we require a separate uh, room? Do we require name boards? Do we require any infra? Absolutely not, there is nothing required. But in many colleges, we have seen that in the library, they have designated certain computers as having NPTEL content. So, if the NPTEL content is being locally probably stored somewhere, certain computers are given access to that server and you can uh, access NPTEL content without going on the internet from that place. In some colleges, we have seen that they will say NPTEL local chapter coordinator or some such a small board, but that is mostly the room of the coordinator themselves. It is not like there is a separate infrastructure that is required. And uh, is there a membership fee for the people who actually partner with NPTEL? There is no membership fee also for the people under the college who become part of the local chapter. So, hope this is clear. All we need is a letter from the head of the institution saying we wish to become a local chapter and giving us details of the person who will act as our contact within the institute as the single point of contact for the local chapter. So, one thing which we have been doing uh, in the past even like 15 years is that if you all give us hard disk and say which disciplines of content we have to copy, we can copy the entire NPTEL content and share it with you so that you can put it on your intranet on your local server. So, that say when 1000 students are accessing NPTEL content, if your college does not have enough bandwidth for them to go online and go to our website. They can do it from your local server. So, that is something that we facilitate. We actively copy the content and give it to you whatever you require and you do not have to take the entire content also. For instance, say you are an art science college and you do not have disciplines such as uh, mechanical engineering or chemical engineering, you do not need those particular courses. You can just tell us saying, okay, give me English, mathematics, give me physics, chemistry, computer science, engineering, maybe only these courses that come under this we would require. So, we will copy only that for you and we will send it on hard disks. So, the total content size that we have now is, is approximately 15 terabytes. So, whatever you require, approximately you can give us that many hard disks, we will copy it and give it to you. Again, this is free of cost, there is no cost to it, no money to be paid to us for doing this copying. It normally takes about one or two weeks depending on the number of uh, institutes we are copying for. Once we are done, we will inform you, you can come and collect it back.